Is God the good guy because he's wearing white instead of red or black? Well, Imperial Stormtroopers wore white too, and they were the bad guys. Let's do this. <laughs> Have you ever noticed that people assume God's the good guy here? But what do they base that on? How do they know God is on their side? Let's assume for a moment that the Bible is true. Isn't God the one who kicked Adam and Eve out of the Garden of Eden and for the crime of knowing too much? Is the good guy the one who punts you from paradise for having a clue? Really? Isn't God the one who tortures Job just to test his resolve? Oh sure, Satan eggs him on. But you'd think the good guy could tell the bad guy to go get stuffed. Right? Isn't God the one who decides to cleanse Earth of all life, good and bad, with that flood of his? Doesn't God turn a woman into a pillar of salt? Which makes exactly zero sense. Just for the crime of being curious? And what is it about curious women that God's got a problem with? Doesn't God kill off all of Egypt's firstborn children? Innocent kids! Just to teach their parents a lesson? I mean, the list goes on and on. God doesn't exactly play nice with the world. And he's supposed to be the good guy. And people just accept this. That's the part I find the most mind-boggling. People don't seem to examine these behaviors rationally, and they don't seem to realize that the God of the Bible is a royal dick, and following him makes you one of his evil minions. But if you don't see that, then you're clearly running on automatic instead of thinking. Because if I ever met that God, the one described in the Bible, I'd oppose him. You wouldn't put up with this behavior in a human. So why is it okay when God does it? Thankfully, much of what's in that book is provably false. The plagues of Egypt and Noah's flood definitely never happened, along with others. It sure seems as if this God doesn't exist. But if he did, I'd never follow him. I don't see how anybody could. Please take the time to rate this video. And hey, if you dig what I do, subscribe. You might also enjoy my webcomic, The Adventures of Kinira Baxter. You'll find a link in the info bar, along with a link to my Zazzle store. Buy a t-shirt today! Vote me down and I shall become more powerful than you can possibly imagine.